The first question I have is a lot of my audience is they're doing e-commerce, so they're selling products online. So I'm wondering what platform should a beginner use? Clavio, MailChimp, what is beginner friendly? Uh, what do you think about that? Uh, if they are on budget, they can start using MailChimp. However, uh, as you know, when you grow, it's harder and uh, it gets harder yes. to move from one platform to another. So I highly recommend to start from Clavio. They are the best e-commerce email marketing platform on the market. They are not good for any other kind of business, but for e-commerce, they are perfect. And since 2006, we're using only Clavio for all our clients. And so far, we are happy. So they provide a lot of features, the segmentation, the automation, all that they can do or what? Yeah, and one thing, it's a, like life hack <laughs> to save you money. A Clavio is not cheap, but it's not as expensive as well. However, I have a video on YouTube how to save money with Clavio. So even if you have like hundreds of subscribers or thousands of subscribers, you don't have to pay for all of them. There's like small oh, trick. Oh, really? Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I have a video. So basically you are you have let's say if you have 10,000 subscribers and you want you pay only 4,000 subscribers you just have to send the campaign 10 times to oh interesting, interesting. yeah so okay yeah i mean it's a small trick but if you have money and you just care about uh, return on like investment okay. you don't have to care about that like doing that cool. because it, you have to invest a lot of time doing that so then how do you actually grow your email list? Because I know a lot of people, they do it with e-commerce and as they get more orders, they start to grow. Do you recommend doing like squeeze pages, like landing pages? How do you recommend your clients start to grow their email list? Typically, we work cl with clients who already have their okay. database. Okay. Uh, however, like opt-in forms as a moth, moth, moth on your page. And typically with e-commerce, it's either discount, free shipping, some kind of offer. Uh, right. If you have resources, I would highly recommend to create some kind of uh, freebies, lead magnets. Uh, squeeze pages, you can. Uh, we typically do squeeze pages for or, or landing pages for a new product releases, uh, waiting lists, uh, and those kind of uh, stuff. But we don't do for anything else. Yeah. So that's kind of like, there's two groups I'm thinking of, right? There's the people who are just starting and don't really have their email list. And then there's the people who are trying to maximize their revenue, right? So mm -hmm. how would you suggest is, you know, people have an existing e-commerce store, you know, they're getting a bunch of abandoned carts. How do they try to get those abandoned carts back and kind of maximize their revenue using something like Clavio or email marketing in general? I mean, the first thing, doesn't matter which tool you use, you have to have abandoned cart uh, automation, or abandoned right. cart. So that when they abandon, you just need to remind them uh, because there's a bunch of reasons why they abandoned. Maybe it's price, maybe they just got distracted or some other reasons. That's why you just need, as a first email, you need to follow up. And what we do for all our clients and what we I suggest to your audience to follow up for the next seven days every day. Okay. So like almost seven emails for abandonment card. I know it sounds crazy and sounds too much uh, and you have to become creative. Maybe on the third email or fourth email, you start offering them discounts, but this is how you maximize your abandonment card. And abandonment card is one of the most profitable uh, automation. Yeah, the, my next question was actually gonna be how often should I send emails and is there such thing as sending two emails? So you kind of answer that, but is there such thing as sending two emails and how long would you follow up in other uh, business kind of business models? Um, what do you mean two, yeah. two emails? Sorry, too, too many? many email, too many emails. Like if I send like four, four, like 14 emails and like, well, like, can I just keep going or what would you suggest? There's, yeah, there's such thing as a too okay. many emails if they are generic and not related to that person. If I'm at your store and you sell, let's say, blue t-shirts yeah. and I care about that blue t-shirt and I, I check that blue t-shirt, I started to check out and they didn't buy, uh, you can like sell, like send me related uh emails and yeah. I would care and I will open. But if you send something like, oh, we have a sale today, we have a sale today, we have a sale today, it does not matter. Yeah, like, so yeah, okay, were you, sorry, uh, I interrupted yeah. you, were you about to say, okay, cool. Um, are there any other email marketing tips that other people don't talk about uh, that you can recommend to my audience? Sure, uh, 
One thing that we implemented probably a year ago for and we're doing now moving for, forward to all of our clients is email preference page or custom unsubscribe page. It reduced number of unsubscribes and is better segmenting your list. So in when they person click unsubscribe or manage yeah. preference page, they redirected not to generic uh, oh, unsubscribe page. Okay. It's we are asking them more questions uh, and at the bottom we giving them option to unsubscribe or maybe they're receiving too many emails from you and they want to stay on your list but they want to receive email less frequent so you're asking them the question and they provide you information or maybe you're selling shirts and shoes and they care about shoes so the next time you send um, a, sh a shirt email you have to exclude that segment that they say like i i, I don't care about like uh shirts so uh this thing almost nobody does and even the big companies uh, because i'm subscribed to so many different companies even big companies they do not implement and I believe they have, yeah and if you use clavio I, I i believe i have at least four videos on my channel uh, how to build it how to is this doable with other e is this can you do that with other email marketing services as well or is that a Clavio specific thing no 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 you can do for okay. uh, was any uh, was any email marketing service provider but i'm not sure how customizable they are on other platforms because i, I have a lot of experience with active campaign as well okay. and you can kind of mimic the preference page but you cannot add their standard one so in terms of like budget friendly email marketing services, what would you say? Because a lot of people that are just kind of getting started and they, they don't have a lot of money to put in to their email marketing service. So what would you say? Uh, Do you mean like hiring agency like? or the tool? The tool, the tool. I mean, MailChimp is a MailChimp is the, the bottom. Best. And then is it yeah. easy to switch over from MailChimp to another email marketing service provider if you scale? Um, is that doable or is that kind of difficult to do? It's doable, but it's just a headache. Uh, so then if any of your followers and subscribers have any additional ch uh, questions, uh, please leave them below under this video and I'll be checking regularly to respond to any questions and refer to the right resources. And also if you care about email marketing, e-commerce email marketing and Clavio, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Cool. And what what is what do you what do you do? What does FlowEM do? Are you an email marketing agency? And what? Yeah. So what we we are we we are email marketing agency. Um, we serve only one kind of clients. We work with online retailers, e-commerce, and we work, so far we work only on one platform, Clavio. Um, yeah, and and we have yeah. So I don't know. How cool. To, Thanks for doing this. Um, if you guys have any other questions, as he said, leave them below. I will be checking regularly. We will be also be doing an interview on his channel, which I will link to below. Uh, and feel free to check that out as well. Uh, thanks Great. for doing this, man.